Eddie Redmayne, I'm glad you were in this after Jupiter Ascending. I really am. Alright guys, so, the Danish girl. In The Danish Girl, we follow the story of a couple in the 1920s being played by Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander. Vikander plays an artist, and when one of her models doesn't show, Eddie Redmayne must play the girl in one of her pictures, which they later name Lily. And then after doing this with his wife, Redmayne's character starts to think to himself that maybe he has been destined to become a woman, and this is all taking place during a period of time where this had been one of the first ever transgender procedures. Now, I didn't really know what to expect going into this. All I knew is that it's sort of Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander, and that it's supposed to be very Oscar baity. That's literally all I knew. Finally, I got the chance to see it, and how was it? Well, let's find out. While the Danish girl is definitely not 100% perfect, it's still very high up there for Oscar bait films. The thing that really carries this movie are the performances. Eddie Redmayne gives yet another fantastic performance. There's been a lot of controversy actually saying that he shouldn't have played a transgender person because he himself isn't transgender. And what I, just a little side note, what I think of that, it's it's like saying that someone shouldn't play an alcoholic in, the, in one movie because they aren't in real life and that's just silly. I still thought Redman did a fantastic performance here. He did a very good job. Like his character, it was he was very selfish at moments, but we always did want to follow the story of Einar slash Lily, who is the guy transforming into the girl. So I really thought he did a great job here. Also, Alicia Vikander, she's the one that people are really praising this week. And while I don't think she's as good as Eddie Redmayne in the film personally, I still think she does a fantastic job in here as the wife. Like, there's a lot of emotional scenes in this movie, which I didn't know her, her like, acting abilities ranged that far after I only saw her in Ex Machina and The Man from Uncle. I didn't know she'd get this emotional in some scene. She did a fantastic job in here. Not as good as Redmayne in my opinion, but still Oscar worthy performance. Tom Hooper directs this movie and people are always saying that he only directs movies just for Oscars such as Les Mis or The King's Speech and that might be true because, I mean, it not might be true, it's very true because this movie definitely looks like it's directed for the Oscars. There are a ton of shots in here that can be shown during someone's nomination for a performance or just long shots in general that look like he could get nominated for Best Direction. So. I agree with people that he only makes Oscar baiting movies, but you know what? He does a hell of a good job at it. The movie is also written very well. With a story like this, the source material must be handled very delicately, and I thought the movie did a great job of handling it. It didn't really over-exaggerate or under-exaggerate it. It perfectly encapsulated the time period that this was taking place and how people were reacting to this procedure and how difficult it was for them to actually perform it. So, as an audience member, I thought it was really well done in its source material as well as its time period being accurate so yeah the main flaw here is that the movie is very 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 i cannot trust this enough slow pace so if you're not in the mood for a movie that is very slow yeah don't why would you even see this movie you know it's going to be slow going in also there are some moments here that felt a little too like a little too oscar baby for my taste if that even made any sense to any of you guys watching. Overall, I'm gonna give The Danish Girl a B-. minus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until my next review, I'm Randomister411, and I will see you all later.